Right, okay, welcome back to the Average Golfers channel in a video that I love doing each year, and this time it's to find out the most forgiving drivers of 2021. And my favourite is in my hands right now. But of course, I'm not going to tell you what this is right now. We can't start at one. We'll start at number five, and that is... Right, before we get to number five and I tell you what head is on the end of this shaft, then we need to, in time on a tradition, I need to waffle on a bit to keep you guessing what those top five are. But I'll ask you a question in the meantime. That question is, you can do your top five, but what is your most forgiving driver of 2021, in your opinion? Either you've bought it or you've tested it, I'd love to know your feedback and we'll compare at the end yours and mine. Right, so that fifth place driver comes from Callaway. And officially this one was released in, uh, I think, the latter part of 2020, but it's part of their current range, Callaways. It is the Big Bertha B21. Now there's fours and against this driver and there's a reason why it comes in at number five. I'm just going to turn that over so our camera lady can see the shape of it because the shape is a real issue for me personally even though i've played it for quite some months but it's not for everybody and hence the reason it's in number five it's kind of an odd little uh, shape in terms of that tail end of it not for everybody there's a bit of offset there again not for everybody but don't forget this is about forgiveness it's the most forgiving drivers of 2021 and for me the b21 is ultra forgiving it's also very much anti-slice. And again, that's why I say I'm sticking in at five because it doesn't appeal to necessarily the masses, but it'll appeal to the majority of average golfers out there. It performs incredibly well. I stuck a fairly lightweight shaft in there and the combination of the two have meant that it's really been struggling to dislodge it out of my bag, to be honest with you, even though from a visual perspective, I wasn't that keen on it, to be honest with you. So at number five, Big Bertha B21, really forgiving driver. Downsides are shape, looks, and if it's if you're a drawer of the ball, anti-slice, not really a worry of yours. Right, so next up at number four, well, it comes from Taylor Made. I think this will be a massively sold driver for them. It's hugely popular range. It is their Sim Max 2 product, and for me, it kind of it's really good at address it looks superb i think what they've done in terms of the changes in the last few years in terms of this the, the sort of checkered flag i call it in terms of the crown it's been muted down a little bit gray line has been narrowed down over the years as to what it was in the sort of front uh, of the crown it's just a really decent looking club at address i'm not overly keen on underneath i criticized sort of what the material was uh, on the on the bottom of the club I, and again i can't even remember what it was to be quite honest with you. Um, but i wasn't overly keen on visually the looks of it but they've done something in terms of stripped down the adjustability this time 24 grams of weight packed right at that back end so M moi is everything they're aiming at in terms of forgiveness on this driver bit of adjustability in the um in the hosel in terms of loft but this driver is aimed at very much the average golfer when all they're looking for is forgiveness but not dropping out massively in terms of ball speeds really really popular driver and for me it being at number four the negative would be this was priced as was the b21 really high end in terms of that price point so that would probably be a little bit of a, a down mark but number four for taylor made this year Right, so up into the top three of our most forgiving drivers for 2021. And no surprises in terms of what's coming in that top three, I don't think. Although there might be one thrown in there. But this is sort of an ever-presence. It never goes far away. It's a ping driver. It's the G425. It's their Max product. And really, it's a bit of a no-brainer, to be honest with you. The front three are very much hard to split. And this could have easily been put at number one, to be quite honest. It looks really, really good. I've always been a fan of this kind of stealth black look on the top. Um, no crown sheen, if you like, from above, which again, I like. Never been a fan of turbulators. Would rather see a flat crown personally, but underneath they changed it to black and silver and chromes or whatever you want to call it this year. It just looks really, really good. Again, they've got the weight packed in at the back end. There is some adjustability in terms of uh, a draw and fade bias if you preferred it. But ping drivers are really aimed, or the Max product in particular, is all again about MOI. So in terms of being ultra forgiving, that's exactly what they are. I think if a golfer walked into the Custom Fit Bay here at uh, 4Golf, then 
I think maybe 90% of them will get on with a G425. It's that simple. It is just a really good driver. Dispersion has always been really good with it. The negative for me in this range full stop has always been the sound. I'm not keen on how hard they sound off the face. That's been a negative for me all along in the last two, maybe three iterations of this product. So that's why it's in at number three and not number one. Purely the only difference separating them are sort of minor details and that would be just the sound off of this face other than that hard to go wrong with that ping g425 right so it's into the top two it's serious business and uh, a few years ago this thing would have never got even close or this brand would have never got close and it is of course from pxg there's a number of reasons this makes the top two one is it is ultra forgiving and that's this particular model that i'm referring to it's the 0811 xf there's three models within this range. XF is extreme forgiveness. So that's exactly what this looks to do. Again, weight, all the heavy weight at the back end, looking for that MOI and looking for forgiveness. The bits that would stop it being from number one is perhaps the looks again. It goes back to number five, which is the B21. It's possibly a Marmite product. This top end, this crown is too different in many ways and too different for me in many ways. I'd much prefer the older style that PXG produced, to be quite honest with you. But that's overridden by the performance of this thing. Like I said, ultra forgiving, ultra consistent. But then the one thing that really hikes it up the charts this year is the bit that I would have never have expected to say with a PXG product, and that's the price. It's £345 for this driver. And for me, it's still very much a premium build. It sits definitely in line with the other four that we've mentioned so far in terms of the build quality. And at 345 it's 50 to £100 less expensive than those others. So it's not more forgiving than five, four or three, to be quite honest with you, but it's got a price point that sticks it in there and pushes it up to number two. So for this year, the 0811 XF from PXG would be my number two most forgiving driver at 2021. So that just leaves us to go back to the beginning and find out what was that driver that I had in my mitts. Yeah, back where we started, what is my number one driver or most forgiving driver this is of 2021? And it's Callaway. They've already appeared once at number five, but I think they've got a much more, a product that appeals to the masses. So where the B21 was maybe a little bit odd, the Epic Max is more traditional in its shape. A little bit elongated, but what they've done here again, you can have the weight directly central behind, and that's the pure MOI uh, version, if you like. And there is a sliding weight to give you that draw and fade bias adjustable hosel as well, plenty of differences that you can make in terms of custom fit. But it just looks really good at a dress. Like I said, it's a more classic sort of tear drop shape, but just a little bit elongated. It's got that pattern on the crown again, which you've seen in a number of drivers now. It's a quality finish in my book. But what they did really well with the Max, in, and with the Epic range really, is that it did really well in terms of distance, for me anyway, on a personal level. So when I tested it, yeah, it was forgiving. Dispersion was good. It felt and sounded really good, which is again, another key factor for me as a personal, uh, on a personal opinion. But what it didn't do was normally, as soon as we're looking at MOI and forgiveness, sometimes it can be that as a compromise in terms of it gets a little bit high in the spin rate, distance drops off and ball speeds drop off. And that's what it didn't do. And that's why this would without doubt be my number one product it comes with a price tag don't get me wrong it's still at that high end but for me it outstripped the rest because it ticked every box and that's what makes it my number one most forgiving driver for 2021 and it one more ball to finish and let's just see if we can get a long and straight one and back up what i've been saying Well, it's got a little bit of draw on it right to left. I'm liking that one. And it backs up my opinion that in, I think this is the best, but the important bit is what do you, and that's the last thing we'll end on. Don't forget, as I said earlier on in the video, the important bit is, this is five drivers that I think are the most forgiving, but what do you? And comments down below, I'd love to hear from you. That's me done, hit that like button, comments down below, get involved with the channel, subscribe if you don't already, but most importantly, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon, because we've got a few more of these top fives coming your way.